<laughs> I know. I know. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills, when life gets you down, you know what you got to do. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. You know I love Dory. You know I love Dory. You know I love Dory. You have a new team member. Yay! Marta, got you. Time to roll. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you got to do. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. It's September. It is September. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I know. You guys are doing good. You like Dory. I love the hearts. That's awesome. Hi, Facebook. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Yes. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. How are you guys? How you doing? How's everybody? Okay, so I have to show Facebook what we're talking about. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you got to do. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Welcome to September. Yes. I know you guys thought maybe Gloria wasn't going to get in here on September. What? Oh, yeah. I'm in here. Welcome to GTV, baby. GTV. If this is your first time joining us on Periscope or Facebook Live, my name is Gloria Mayfield Banks, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. I'm doing Facebook. I'm doing Periscope. We're doing it together. We're making it happen. This is so good. It is September 1. September 1. And if you're tuning in to me, either on Periscope, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, on um, YouTube, if you're tuning in to me on GTV, you're tuning in because you know I teach the ordinary person how to create an extraordinary life. Teach the, you like my shirt? Look at my shirt. Thank you, Robin Barnwell. Isn't that cute? You guys, I wore this shirt in Dubai when I was on the raceway. Yeah, you know, when they took us to Dubai, we were on the raceway, and we were, drove in a race car, like a real race car, on a real race track. And I wore this shirt. It's so cute. I get a lot of attention. You know, this is going to be a month where you're going to get a lot of attention because we're going to be intentional. Intentional. And so listen to the start. Okay, so I'm here to teach the ordinary person how to create an extraordinary life. And so this morning I was thinking, in fact, all day I've been thinking. In fact, it started yesterday, to tell you the truth. I started thinking about the fact that the people that are in my space, I want them to experience an increase in income in September. So it has got to start. Okay, so here's my quote today. Today, you gain strength courage, and confidence by every experience which you must stop and look fear in the face. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. I'm real excited about this. I'm real excited. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. And I want to tell you that if you do the replay and you hit those hearts, I can see it and I love it. And I go back on Facebook and I look at the comments. So I want to thank you for that. Okay, so let's just get right to it. The name of this is called Starting in September. I got to start. This time, this time, my start will create my super bad finish. Super bad finish. It is super bad September. It is super bad September. It is super bad September. Hi, Poland. How are you? I want to tell you something. Yes, you got to face your fears. So we're going to put a plan together right now about what I am so passionate about for you to create an extraordinary life. Okay, 
So sometimes people ask me, what is an extraordinary life? And you know, of course, it's going to depend on you. But let me just tell you about last night. Okay, so last night, it's the end of the month. And for many of us, the end of the month is a big deal. If the end of the month is not a big deal for you, you need to ask yourself, am I really goal-driven? Whether you work for someone else or whether you work for yourself, if you're an entrepreneur, whatever you're doing, ask yourself, at the end of the month, is it just like a regular day? Because I'm telling you, if it's just a regular day, life might be passing you by because you don't have a deadline. And without deadlines... There's no rush to finish. I'm just saying. So anyway, last night I'm on the phone and talking to Ken, my husband, and he could hardly hear me. Talking to Tony, she could hardly hear me. All of a sudden, everybody could hardly hear me. I'm like, what? You can't hardly hear me. Bolted. Bolted to the Apple Store. Bolted to the Apple Store. Missed my workout. I was going to the Apple Store because it's the end of the month. And the end of the month is important to me. I got goals to hit. I got people to deal with. Yes, yes, yes. I mean... Yes, it's a big, big deal. So I walk in the Apple store. Now, this is like life lessons here. I walk in the Apple store, and you know, it's hard to explain to people what the deal is. But I walked in and I said, my phone is not working. So he said, well, the first appointment we have is Saturday at 545. <laughs> you expect me to be without a phone till Saturday? At 5.45? Are you kidding me? You guys like pink printing? Ah, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I just looked at him because you know, honey will get you more. You can go off if you want to, but honey will get you more. So I just looked at him. I said, okay, you may not understand it, but I cannot wait till Saturday. So, and I have to be on the phone tonight because this is my commission and I have to work. So I need for you to get understanding. So he said, well, you can come back tomorrow morning at 9.45, and then we'll get you right in at 10 o'clock. So I said, uh, maybe I'm not making myself clear. I cannot be without a phone tonight. Like, not tonight. Maybe a week ago, but not tonight. Okay, you guys with me? So anyway, he said, okay. I said, well, I can buy a phone right now. This is why I want you guys making money, having extraordinary life, so that you can, if you need to, you can buy a $700 phone right then if you need to, and then if you got to turn it in the next day, and that's what I told him. I wasn't being out of integrity. I said, okay, I can buy this phone now, and then I'm going to bring it back tomorrow, and you can fix my phone. I said, well, we really don't want to do that. I said, well, we really do want to do that because I have to have a phone. So I just stood there, and he just stood there, and we just looked at each other, stood there back and forth on the hot. And so uh, I just sat there. I, I wasn't moving. I had to have a phone. Are you guys with me? Okay, so then, yes, I have an Apple Watch. Yes, I like it. Okay, so then, here's the deal. I um, waited, and another person came and helped me. Because, you know, only good things happen to me. Only good things happen to me. What are you affirming? What are you affirming? I didn't put a bunch of negative stuff in the air. Sure enough, she said, let me help you out. And uh, same store, same, same blue shirt, Apple little Apple thing on it. And she came over, she helped me. Walked up to another guy. He said, let me give you a new phone. Just like that. Like, bam. So, I just want to tell you guys, life issues and emotional management. It's got nothing to do with what I'm talking about right now. But I wanted to tell you that these kind of things happen to you. And I wanted you to understand why I am so dang on passionate about women having money. Why are you so passionate about Gloria? Why? Because it causes you to have choices. And when you don't have money, you don't have choices. Okay, you with me? All right, so here's the deal. We're going to start September, and we're going to have a super bad September because of the way we start. Are you ready? Number one, we're going to stop procrastination. Okay, so this morning, I started thinking about some of my leaders. I called one of them at 8 o'clock in the morning. She answered the phone. She was asleep. I said, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. It's September 1. I need you to get up right now. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I talked to her, I talked to her husband. I said, I, this is the month. This is the month. So I want to tell you guys, uh, raise your hand if you're a procrastinator. You know, if you're on my Periscope, you get to hit it. If you got in here early, you got to hit it. So if you're a procrastinator, raise your hand and say, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm watching you on Facebook. Are you guys giving me some comments here? Okay, yes, that's good, that's good, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're going to stop the procrastination. Just in September, we're going to give you some things that you're going to start doing in September. Okay, so I read this book, it's called The Slight Edge. 
You might be familiar with it. I can't. Olson. Jeff Olson, I think, is the writer of it. He said it's as easy not to do something as it is to do something. If you think about it, it's as easy not to do something as it is to do something. Okay? So that's number one. Number two, I want you to clean out the junk. I want you to look around your workspace, look around your workspace, look around your workspace. You know, we talked about this before, but now we're going to have a super bad September. I want you to look around your workspace and tell me, is it clean or not? If it's clean, you got it going on. Don't worry about it. If it's not clean, it's got to be cleaned up. What's today? Uh, today's Monday. It's got to be cleaned up by Wednesday. And I'm going to be watching for my tweets about it. And I'm going to be watching for my comments on Facebook about it. I want you guys to clean. Are you hitting those hearts? Is this something you like? Because if you want to move up in your life, if you want to have a different outcome, do you realize that September means we're getting ready to go into one of the best seasons of our life? I know. I love the summertime. Fall is coming. It's very pretty. I love the summertime. Fall is coming. It's very pretty. And right after that comes the giving season. And if you want to have a giving season where you give, you got to prepare now. Yes. Jeff Olson. Yes. Okay. Number two. Okay. So then um, we talked about getting up. You got to wake up. I'm so tired of everybody being so tired, you guys. You have got to wake up if you're going to have a super bad September. And I'm just giving you guys some tips. I want some signs around the house that say, wake up. Wake up. Aren't you tired of being tired? I'm not talking about the whole year. I'm talking about, yes, let's have the best September ever. Think about it. Think about it. The next thing I want you to do is to project. You guys, these are skills. I want you to project. And what I want you to project is your income. If you are working someplace where you, can't, you cannot increase your income, then either two things have to happen. Either... You know, you need to start doing something else. <laughs> or you need to figure out a way to increase your income. I'm just saying. Unless you're satisfied with where you are, you need to think about the way you're going to increase your income. Seriously. Because there's a time now and so many people are doing it. So I'm just going to tell you, fear what you fear and do it anyway. Fear what you do and do it anyway. So I'm just challenging you guys to project so that you increase your income. Because a lot of people, here's what I want to tell you, please understand this. Um, when you say, I want to do the best I can, that is not a goal. The best I can is not a goal. So I need you to wake up. I need you to project. I need you to be strong with your mentor and tell her what you're going to make happen. Her, him, whatever. You need to sit down with people, sit down with your boss and have something that you want to make happen in these next 30 days. It doesn't have to be tracking cash, but it's got to be tracking something. What do you want to accomplish in this month of September? When I tell you I'm thinking about it, you guys, how can we move the needle? How can we move the needle? How can we move the needle? Okay, very next point. Write this one down. Put it everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Do not get caught up in the small stuff. Don't get caught up in the small stuff. What? Okay. So, <laughs> in the middle of it. Um, I don't want you to get caught up in the small stuff. So, when it says, hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills, when life gets you down, what do you got to do? Just keep on swimming. Keep on swimming. Keep on swimming, you guys. Don't let it get you all cut up. We had a huge announcement today. Huge. It was juicy. It was juicy. But I found people getting caught up in the small stuff. And I mean, this is the time to get excited. Day one of September, this is not the time to get caught up in the small stuff. Create a deadline for yourself. I want you to create a deadline for yourself so that you don't miss the month. So this is what I want to say to you. This is what I'm telling people that are associated with me. And guess what? You are associated with me. What are you doing by the 10th? What are you doing by the 20th? And what are you doing by the 30th? Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. You guys, seriously, there's a lot going on this month. What are you doing by the 10th, the 20th, and the 30th? Break it down. So what I called it on my sheet of paper when I started thinking about you guys and having a strong September, it said create deadlines. Create deadlines. Because those will make a difference. 
Yes, it's a big deal. And so I was talking to somebody today and they want to do this much in the month. And, you know, on the 10th is a third, but they only gave themselves a fourth. So what they did is they forced themselves to put a lot at the end. Now, how many of you know, if you want to create a great September, you, can, you have got to stop this habit of everything waiting till the end. You have got to get into the land of abundance and stop worrying about the land of just enough. Are you guys tired of being in the land of just enough? Are you tired of being in the land of just enough? Because when you operate in the land of just enough, you attract people to you who are excited about the land of just enough. I just can buy this much. I just need to do this much. I can just, it's just not just, it's just no abundance. You guys, I want you to think about it. I want you to really think about it. And I don't want this. Can you guys hear me? I don't want this to be a motivational talk right now. I want this to be a real hard strategic talk because your start is going to create a phenomenal finish. And we are not just going to eek across the line. And we're not just going to get excited on the 25th of September. We're going to get excited now. Yes, in larger territory. Yes. So the last thing I'm going to tell you in order to have a phenomenal September, to have a strong start, is we're going to watch our words. Today I was talking to somebody, and here's what they were saying. I'm going to try to so stop saying try. I'm going to be working on stop saying you're going to work on. When are you going to do? When are you going to do? Just when are you going to do? I just want to encourage you guys to have a strong September by being strategic. It is what I'm blessed with is strategy. I'm real clear about it. I get real excited about it. And I want to tell you guys, if this specific start strong, strong finish, if this means something to you, then share it. Share it. I want to be really clear with you. I'm very excited that you connect with me on GloriaMayfieldBanks.com. I'm real excited about that. I'm excited that you guys have been hammering the website. I'm so glad hammering the website so that you can hammer the webinar. There's no comfort in the comfort zone. I want you guys to think about it for a second. I want you to think about as we go into September, are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? We talked about that before. But aren't you tired of this place that they call the comfort zone? Wouldn't it be awesome to create a lifestyle where this Christmas season, you don't have to put anything on your credit card? Wouldn't it be awesome to learn the art to stop procrastinating and make something happen that's big and exciting and energetic and passionate? Wouldn't it be awesome to create a habit within yourself where people want to be around you all the time? Wouldn't it be great to know how to manage your attitude? so that it doesn't always tear you down. There's no comfort in the comfort zone. There's nothing comfortable about the comfort zone. And so when I teach this on the 20th, I think it's the 20th. No, no, it's not the 20th. Uh, it might be the 15th, but I'm going to teach it. And it's on my website, GloriaMayfieldBanks.com. And when I teach it, I oh want to tell you, it will cause a quantum leap. Thank you for that. It will cause a quantum leap. I'm so excited about what we're going to create together. It's really making a difference. You're going to stop procrastination. You're going to evacuate the comfort zone. I like that. You're going to evacuate the comfort zone. Debt free. Yes. I don't know how many of you are feeling the passion that I feel to be debt free for you. Talk about an extraordinary life. But before you're debt-free, you've got to create more money than you spend. And before you can do that, you have to create more money than the debt you already have. Okay? So let's just be very clear about our choices. What did I say? We're going to stop procrastination. We're going to increase our income, and therefore we're going to increase our cash. We're going to clean up the junk. We're going to get up. It's time to wake up. Stop sleeping in and stop hanging around people that sleep in. Don't get caught up in the small stuff. And when people get you caught up in the small stuff, walk away. 
When people get you caught up in the small stuff, walk away. Create deadlines this month. You know, I teach a lot about the good week makes a good month, makes a good year. And so for my high performers, we track everything between Sunday and Saturday. Sunday and Saturday. For my medium performers who are trying to become high, high performers, we're talking about what you're doing to the 10th, what you're doing to the 20th, and what you're doing to the 30th. Okay? And then you're going to watch your words. You're going to come out of the land of just enough and into the land of abundance. And we're going to do something amazing. We're going to do something amazing. You guys hang with me. Hang with me. Connect with me. Welcome to GTV, baby. GTV. GTV. You guys, this will be uploaded on YouTube. But I'm really hoping that you share it. Swipe up if you're on an Android to share. Swipe to the side and share it. Because I need you to wake up, walk away, and create an extraordinary life. We're starting with September. It's going to be super bad. September and I'm excited about it. Talk to you later. Bye. See ya.